you're having trouble finding that one perfect gift for Mother's Day, why not create a special gift basket that will show her how much you care? Amy Ladd is back to give us some ideas on what to put in this basket for mom. Of course, you have the answer for us. But you're <laughs> going to start, I understand, with a four-line poem that is going to help us put together our basket this year. So how fun is that? Yes. Take it away. I know. I always stress out about finding the perfect gift. And I think there's not like one perfect gift. Oh, I like not. to do a gift basket that has multiple things in there to show mom how much you care. So the little poem that I created, um, it's something to eat, something to wear, a gift just for mom, and a gift for self-care. Great. OK, so let's, that's a perfect way to start. So let's just go down the line there, point by point, line Absolutely. by line. So something to eat. We want to treat mom to her favorite indulgences because, you know, moms are always feeding everyone, and they're focused yes. on, you know, taking care of your favorite snacks. So we're going to give her her favorite snacks. So whether that's, you know, your deli coffee chocolate or, you know, whether that's a beverage too, you know, bottled coffee. You know, we've got a Hershey bar. We've got some cheese curls, some sweet sweet potato chips, whatever it is that she really feels like is an indulgence, her favorites, stick them in there or a gift card to a restaurant or for me, it would be for Starbucks, hint, hint, family, <laughs> and you know, just whatever would be a special treat. Okay, so something else now to add, something to wear. Yes, so we just made jewelry in the yeah. last segment. So obviously, you know, if you make your paper bead jewelry, that can be your something to wear or any other kind of jewelry. Also, you know, I know you just polished your nails. We can give For nail the first polish. Time in six months. Right, and it makes you feel so pretty. And so, you know, just a nice little thing of nail polish or makeup. I've got foundation in that one. If you know what mom likes Ooh. to wear, um, perfume, anything like that. I'm um, just a little pick me up that she can wear. Very good. Um, a gift just for mom. So, so this, she's not going to have to share? Right. Okay. This is where we get sentimental. This is something that's just between you and mom. Aww. So this could be like, um, I have a journal here that my mom and I have been passing back and forth for about a year and a half now. Aww. And it's um, it's called Sealed with Love, a mother and daughter journal. Oh and gosh, you just kind lovely. of write back and forth to each other. Or if there's something that you and your mom say. So like my mom and I constantly text each other, love you more, love you most. And I found this um, set of mugs that say love you more and love you most at Target. Aww. So that was a no brainer. Um, some parents and children say love you to the moon and back. So if there's a special saying that you have, you know, get it on a piece of decor, like one of those little signs or a coffee mug, something like that. Um, if there's something that you call your mom, like my boys call me mama. And so a mama bear or something oh, with mama, mama on it. You know, if you have a special name or nickname, something like that, but just something that only you and mom would appreciate a framed photo. Like I've got one there of my boys and one here oh, of my family, you know, so moms, you know, we're suckers for that stuff. The framed photos of the people that we yeah. love. Yeah. Anything just um, sentimental. We'll yes. Just start crying over. Yes. Or write mom a letter. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, wow. You really want her to cry? Oh. Write her a handwritten letter for this. Showering mom with love and we're like, cry, cry. <laughs> <laughs> Tears Feel of love. The love. Tears of love. Um, Enjoy. Okay. Finally, self-care. Yes. So this could be anything from bubble bath to, you know, like a lotion, a gift card for a spa day, a journal. I highly recommend this wonderful book, Practice Makes Progress, My Creative oh, Journal. Oh, I've heard of the author. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Her name is Amy Latta. She mm -hmm. likes to do artwork and teach people how to be creative. So <laughs> I highly recommend Practice Makes Progress. Um, that's just a chance for mom to have some me time and explore her creativity. But, you know, anything, whether it's fuzzy socks or bath salts or a face mask, um, you know, not the face mask, yeah. but like a yeah, facial treatment mask. Um, but anything like that that's just indulgent. Very good. You have a free printable on your website. I do. It has the little poem on it. I hand lettered it and drew some flowers. Um, so you can print that out, um, grab it for free, put it in the gift basket, and there's even a spot at the bottom where you could write a message or sign it. And of course, then you're going to need um, to have a basket so you can buy a cute little basket that matches your house. I just want to bring somebody special, and she didn't know I was going to do this, but this no, is she did not. This, this is, is Amy's my mom, mom um, who loves her more and most. She's with yes. her almost every week to help out with these segments. So yes. happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> we'll be right back.